Oh my god, why is it so bright? Ah! Uh, hey everyone, it's me, Bonnie. Today I'm gonna be uh, showing you my project on Mount Hood. Um, yeah, it's in Minecraft, and uh, so I want to show you it. Uh, it's 7:53 in the morning, but I don't go to school till really long. And I want to show you my uh, Mount my volcanoes that are located in Oregon, Washington and yeah, Oregon, Washington yeah, Oregon, Washington three volcanoes three. so uh anyway, I got a shelter here which is, I like calling it Vault 111 no, not well, kind of, yeah cause Vault is, uh, I call it a vault from Fallout because I just think it's kind of like a vault if you go down, close it, you're safe from like a nuclear holocaust and like you're, I have this, there's a lot of storyline to this. These are people rebelling against like something happened, and uh, something that happened, I guess, riots and civil war and stuff after the, after like the bad eruptions that happened. And yeah, they formed their own military. They have training, even their own salute and everything like that. Oh, uh, God. Alright, uh, anyway. Some days. I think. Sometimes. I think about cheese. I'm just joking. But anyway. Also, if you don't know what that's from, it's from Half Life 2. Anyway, let's go back up there. And yeah, let's get call this a little apartment. Underground apartment building. Sorry if you can't hear me good. But yeah, anyway. So. You go out here. And yeah, outside the vault or whatever, or the, the military base. There's the house right there, I guess. And over here is Mount Saint Helens. As you see, there's a giant crater from the eruption in May 18, 1980. So here's what happened May 18, 1980. If you don't know what happened to it, why it has a crater? Of course, because it erupted. But yeah, here's what happened. So what happened was that it erupted from one of its sides. I think I don't know if it was south, north, I don't know. It erupted from one of its sides, causing a bunch of life to die. But think, but it wasn't. Uh, but fortunately for most people in Washington, it, it erupted in a non, not really in a non-populated area. So. But all trees and animals, and probably even some people there, like camping, did probably die or get injured or be swallowed by the by the uh, mudslides. The reason is, oh uh, yeah, and the explosion and it caused a giant landslide on the volcano, causing a big chunk. It blew uh, uh, the volcano's top. Making it a uh, really weird. It's just like it took off the giant cone gnome part of it, it, just like blew it off, and there was a giant landslide, which caused a big chunk of the volcano to fall off. And I think there were eruptions. I think there was an eruption in 2008 and 2004. I don't know. But yeah, I think in 2004 it erupted again, making the crater even worse. And that's why the crater is so bad, it's so big today. But some scientists say that uh, Mount, Mount, uh, there's been a big swarm of earthquakes lately that have been hitting Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, uh, Mount St. Helens that could cause some eruptions. So yeah, um, that's pretty scary, but thank goodness we don't live near them anymore. But um, a bunny died because he fell into the crater. Thank goodness I'm on creative mode. A hole right here. <laughs> so yeah, um, this is. Of course, I didn't build these. Over there is Mount Hood, which is has eroded since 1865, or probably, probably I don't know. Yeah, here's Mount Hood, and if it were to erupt, it would have like the same effects as uh as Mount St. Helens but it would be in a more populated area like Portland. Portland is like uh like 
pretty much the last the LA of uh, Oregon because there's a big which is giant bridges. The biggest one I think is called the Fremont Bridge. It's really beautiful. You look up the pictures of it. And yeah, Portland's a really beautiful place. There's a lot of cool buildings and stuff. Uh, cool places to go. Well, it's just fun to drive around there. Of course, I, I don't drive, but me and my mom, and dad, and my family were always driving down to Washington, which was like, which was like one hour away from where I lived. It was like 30 minutes away from where I lived, like actual Washington. But my uncle lives in Washington, so he um he um yeah he lived like one hour away. So yeah, anyway, yeah. So that's Mount Red. This is Mount Adams, which has not erupted yet, but I'm pretty sure you would have a lot of, oh, I think Mount Adams is a volcano, so I haven't been able to find it out. But, uh, yeah, here's Mount Adams. And here is the biggest one, Mount Rainier. It's so beautiful, but dude, you do not want to know if this thing erupted, how crazy it would be. Well, guys, I will tell you how crazy it would be. It would literally be raining ash, rock. It would be raining fire and rock. Also, the glacier would freeze. Like, glacier, glaciers would oven and the ice would melt. And it would make river, a bunch of water. Then it would get with the mud and debris and just freaking destroy pretty much. Like, if, if Mount Rainier were to erupt, there would be no more Washington. Washington would literally be wiped out. Dude, I hope it doesn't erupt. Oh, dude. Uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Let's see what would happen if Mount Rainier erupted. So, let's, if we want to know what would happen, we've got to go deep into the volcano. Where, where all the crazy volcanic activity happens. What happens is that magma from the volcano, of course, creates, I think it creates gases, I don't know. Yeah, there's lots of volcanic uh, gases. And I guess a lot of this creates ash, I don't know. But yeah, fill this up with lava. Lava. And, uh, oh yeah, so what would happen is that, um, so I guess the the magma would explode pretty much like it would like it's pretty much, like it would explode it would explode it would explode causing the war causing a terrible eruption of course lava but yeah and lots of uh, ash and different like there's lots of Terrible things would be coming off, and the explosion would be would be would be very deadly because because um it's really dangerous because of course an explosion of course would be deadly and causing the mountain to explode. It would blow its top. And Washington State would be no more. And it, and it would require a very, very big evacuation. Because all the people, all the people in, uh, like, you know, in, uh, mostly, uh, well, of course, you would mainly have to go away from Tacoma or Seattle, anywhere there, from there. But, uh, cover up this crater. Get rid of it because I don't want to burn down the entire world. But I had to call to some desperate measures if you wanted to take down the entire eruption. It would require a lot to get rid of this volcanic eruption. As you see. As the magma slow or ma lava slowly goes down the mountain, burns everything in its way, burning flowers, snow, even killing some animals and people there too. 
Oh my god! We have to get away from the eruption! Oh my god! No, we're well, right here is erupting! Everybody run! The the volcanic eruption is happening! We're at the way out the run! Oh my god, there's a creeper bounding he we he they don't kill villagers! Oh my god, everything's burning! We have to we have to press like not make the fire not spread because I wanna burn down the entire mountain. But yeah, if Mount Rainier to were to erupt, it would cause very, very bad effects to the land, the people, and especially the mountain. As you see, the lava and ash and everything has burned everything around this area. Kitty on my bed. Anyway, also, and also people would be turned into skeletons. This is a story, but you get the idea. Oops, you just got to kill him too. Bum, bum. Mount Rainier is a very big volcano. Probably one of the biggest ones in the Washington or Oregon. Just that air kind of area. And if you were to erupt, there would be pretty much no more Washington. So yeah guys, this was my little project on volcanoes in the in Oregon and Washington that I wanted to show you guys. Uh, I might make this area Crater Lake. I don't know, but I'll try. But yeah, I'll try to make this area Crater Lake. Or just, or, uh, or this area right here. But I'm not sure. I'll try now, guys. I'll try. But anyway. I'm, I might start working on it soon. So yeah, guys. I, I might be doing one on it. Probably make it erupt too. I got to get rid of all that lava on the way here, but I'll do that later. But anyway, guys, if you want to see uh, probably a Mount Adams video, I'm gonna start doing some more research on that volcano or mountain, see if it's a volcano or not. I've seen it a few times in Oregon when I was in Oregon when I went to Washington a while back, like a few months ago. But anyway. So, uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see more videos like this, more Minecraft science and just more uh, science videos like this and more volcanoes and stuff, I could do Yellowstone or, or uh, like the, I think, what was it called? I don't, know, I don't remember the volcano that was in Pompeii, the Pompeii volcano, but, uh, but, uh, what is it, Mount Messier? I don't know, I just don't know. But anyway, guys, if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comment section below. If you have a suggestion for a future video, let me know in the comment section. Anyway, bye!